Leveris capital on, on the top here. We've got the uh, rhomboid minor, which is this little uh, piece of tissue here. And then we've got the rhomboid major, which is the bigger tissue uh, at the bottom. But we just wanted to focus on the vertebra that essentially are connected to these muscles. So for example, for the liver scapula, you have the uh, C1 to C4. As we go down, we've got uh, C7, T1, T2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's break down the movements that you have available to the liver scapula muscle. Now, first of all, we've got uh, lateral flexion to the same side, which essentially means bringing the ear to the right shoulder. And as Ailey is doing the movement, you can see the tissue contracting. See how the tissue bundles up and then stretches. It also creates rotation of the head to the same side. Uh, the attachment point being the scapula as well. So when Ellie rotates her head, these are the fibers that are creating this movement. And then a little bit of flexion to the opposite side as well. And you can really see how now the shoulder is trying to come up scapular elevation. So lifting the scapula up like this. And straight away you can see how the muscle essentially bundles up, which means it's contracting. 